Hello YouTube, Forever Endeavors family. So I've been thinking about these uh, power acoustics, what to really do with them. So I think I came up with what I want to do. When I dismantled this one, I kind of do it the way you always, you know, you take a subwoofer for a part. I just took a razor knife and cut the surround off here and uh, Cut the spider with the razor knife and uh, just pulled it out like you normally would. Then, when I went to peel the lip of the surround off the basket, it came right off. And uh, the spider had a plastic cheater ring, I guess they call it. It, holds it helps hold it down on there. It's screwed, you know, in about seven, eight places around there. That's all glued down, screwed down. Once I got that off, the spider peeled off too. The flange that was left, it just peeled right off. So my thought was this. This is the known issue with these. The voice coil just running into the back of the motor. The rest of them are pretty solid. So what I think I'm going to do is put a little bit stiffer spider on it and uh, normally you'd get a cone and surround and that's what I would recommend doing but just to see how it would go for the channel I'm going to try to reuse this cone because they don't make recone kits for these anymore and this is for the guy that might want to try to save the speaker doesn't have a lot of money so what I've been thinking is I can dissect it I can get the dust cap off and save it and uh, I can cut the surround off of here and just get surround now you wouldn't need to normally do that uh, if you were able to I'm, I'm confident the spider you're probably gonna have to replace because that cheetah ring is a bear so, but uh, I'm confident that uh, if you got up under this flange with like a a real dull flathead screwdriver, like maybe take a cheap flathead and or a butter knife and uh, work that lip, because man, it just peeled off of there. And then you could work your way around and get the cone loose. This one wasn't stored very good. After he realized it was blown, he didn't care, so he just flipped it upside down, and I wouldn't have either, probably. Uh, but So it needs to be replaced anyway, but it's just to see if it can be done for uh, someone that's on a budget. It just wants their speaker playing again, if they can just get uh, a spider and a voice coil and uh, harvest the cone, say the dust cap, not that the dust cap's that big of a deal, but might as well go along with it, right? And uh, maybe fix this for like 50 bucks. So that's what we're gonna try to do. The surrounds just because I did this. Uh, again, I think it's salvageable. So I'm gonna take my razor knife and I'm gonna clean this cone up. I already ordered a surround. I already ordered the spiders. I just got to get a voice coil. There's actually an inner dust cap in here, but you can dissect this out. I don't care about the inner dust cap, so I'm just going to cut it out and uh, cut the voice coil off real close and then just take a die grinder and until you get all the aluminum down to the, uh, down to the epoxy and just take this out and then uh, 
it'll be a three inch opening because this cone is really good I mean it's it's one of the stiffest cones I've ever seen you really I mean it's hard as a rock so and that way it's the right dimensions and all that so I'm not saying everybody should do this but I think it'd be some interesting content and again it's for the guy that just wants to speak of working again maybe has a set of them one of them did this and uh you know, he could turn his gain down just a bit, <laughs> make some adjustments uh, so it doesn't have so, you know, doesn't flex so hard. Maybe get a little shorter voice coil. So I haven't ordered the voice coil yet, so that, that remains to be seen. We'll we'll see what's available and uh, maybe get a, I don't know, probably run the same voice coil and just a little stiffer spider. So that's what we're going to do. These will cut right through this former too. I mean like nothing. I started to uh, go all out on these. Get triple stack motors and make them Anyway, I started to really do a serious build with these. Serious as I can do anyway. I'm still getting used to this stuff. Serious amateur build. <laughs> but, uh, by the time I added everything up, I was like, I'm going to spend that kind of money. I'm gonna put a TI basket. I'm gonna use a TI basket and not these right here. The baskets aren't bad and uh, physically they're fine for pretty much anything you want to do. Man, this thing's fighting me right here. Come on, D Walt. <clears throat> good baskets I'm not they've upgraded them they've updated these the newer ones are a lot nicer looking I don't really care for the ribs here but you almost hate to remove them because in the landing there's not much holding that so they kind of need to stay I just I don't really like the way that looks too much um, I'm sure it works just fine. The dimensions are good. It's actually really a 15 inch basket and it's nine and a, I think it's nine and a quarter spider. Um, so they're good baskets really. Um, just gonna spend a bunch of money. Might as well get the baskets that I really want, you know? And I'm like everybody else. I'm kind of on a budget too, you know? See what I was rubbing on the inside? I'm gonna burn a hole through it right there. 
Must have shorted when it hit the bottom. I don't think the threads are necessary. Stitching around the cone. I've never seen a surround separate from a cone before. On a decent speaker with good quality adhesives anyway. Maybe a cheap one, you know. This thing doesn't lock that good. See there? Wow. It's coming off way easy. Once the stitches are up. came off the basket. Came right off of there. <clears throat> Got a little D lamb right there. I think the new surround that's coming is uh, a little bit wider. Definitely want to get some glue down underneath that edge. Wow, I can't believe how easy that came off. Normally I wouldn't do this, this is just for the channel, but like I said, uh, the rest of the process I think can be done. And I think the surround can be saved by easing it off the basket the same way I did off of here. Where there's no stitches on the basket, take the gasket off and then just get up under it with something that's not razor sharp. And uh, it will come up because it came up that's surprisingly easy. Once the stitches were off, I did not expect it to come up like that. It's off of there. I just got to deal with all these stitches, huh? back here pull them out wow keep on going keep on going baby Wow. So we 
really cool. Well, that's pretty much the outer layer, and then we just gotta do the inner one. Got it. Pulled all the stitches out except for a couple. The incredible. I'm a little concerned at how easy that peeled off is in the cone. Looks like it looks intact. I don't know. Take the first layer off. I don't know if that's glue or cone. Probably cone. I'm assuming. I don't know. It looks like it's. It doesn't look like there's pieces ripped out of it or anything, other than the shiny surface part. I guess we're gonna find out, eh? Looks like that was that peeled off the shiny top layer. I guess that would help the new one bond better. I'm thinking. Guess I'll that, do that all the way around. Put a little adhesive here. Yeah, baby, make it work. I just want to do this, keep from peeling it up from the bottom, right? So make sure you get glue down in there. Usually I just leave my work area dirty. Trying to turn over a new leaf. Trying to get organized.
like a copyright claim. Little flaky, little flaky. Have to stitch it back up, man. What do y'all think? Should I stitch it back up? By hand? It's a lot of stitching, man. Pull the sticker off the magnet on the back. It said 3,800 watts max, I think, or something. I don't know why manufacturers feel compelled to put a max rating on the back or on the whatever to advertise it with a max rating. Just about any modern subwoofer will take ridiculous amounts of power for a couple seconds. You know, what does it mean? What does max rating mean? For like a millisecond, for like a minute, for like I know it's not a minute for sure. He said 3,800 watts. It's a big turn off. RMS powers, all that you need to know. Because max power, no one really, there's no way to really measure that. At least there's no rhyme or reason to the way they're categorizing max power on most of these subs. I'll, I'll put it that way. These frequencies play a role in that. The enclosure plays a role in that. I guess if everything was perfect, you still couldn't tell what the max power rating is though. around and cut into the cone here. I'll mess around. See that? Kind of splits right where the tinsel lead goes through. I didn't cut it there. Probably doesn't matter for what we're doing. Tear this up. We're just going to put a different dust cap on it. But try to save it all, man. If I gash the cone. We can put some epoxy on it or CA, rubberized CA. It's stiff. This thing's ridiculous, man, how stiff it is. So. I'm confident the cone will be okay as long as I don't grind it out too far or something. Something stupid, you know. New guy kind of stuff. Uh oh, uh oh.
knife's a little shallower this way. I guess I can put something between there. So we don't mark up our shiny cone. Our acoustic finest. Thirty eight hundred max power. Still marking it. To leave my impression on there. I'm gonna mark up my power acoustic cone. Flex. Don't put towards yourself, Chris. I hear you. You're not wrong. Do not try this at home. Guess we're just gonna have a little impression around this thing. It's really hanging in there in spots. to the inner it's coming off either way yeah it's glued to the inner one Feeling the shiny stuff down to the bottom. All right, all right. Put some glue in there, folks. This works ideally. Like I say, you should be able to get this done for 50 60 bucks. That's not bad. Can't get these anymore. There's a new model out. Probably got some upgrades that they needed to do. Well, the new one's close to 200 bucks. So.
Not to mention, blown up, you know, people sell these blown up subs. If you know somebody that's got one, you can generally get them pretty cheap. The ones I've found on eBay, sometimes they cost as much as a new freaking sub, so that's stupid, but definitely wouldn't spend that kind of money on a blown one. But there's a value to the blown speaker. I mean, the basket and the motor and all that. So, all right. I'm happy with where we're at so far. This is going to be the surgical part right here. Try to grind it. It's not going to be fun. I'm going to do it off camera. I'll come back with a cone that's uh, clean and hopefully the right size and hopefully ready for the rest of our parts. Man, that's a lot of glue. Not mad at your power acoustic. Not mad at you at all. All right, so that's it for phase one of the build. Lord of Base Spider came in, fits perfect. It's nine and a quarter. So I got the other one coming with the tinsel lead sewn in, and I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. It's going to be a little stiff, but we shouldn't have any issues bottoming out after all that. I'm a little concerned about the spider on the original one that I pulled off here. It was pretty brittle, uh, split in half once you put a little pressure on it, but. I guess I'll build this one and uh, once it's done I'll hook them both up and beat on them a little bit and see how they sound if the other one has issues then I'm just going to redo it also so thanks for hanging in there with me for those of you that stuck around to the end I'll make a deal with you if you'll put in the comments for me to sew the surround to the cone by hand I'll do it. It's going to be a job. I'm not planning on doing it. I don't want to do it. I'm fairly confident I'm not going to have to do it. But uh, if you caught one person, if one person comments that I have to, for me to sew the surround onto the cone, then I will hand sew the surround onto the cone for you guys. So I don't think I'm going to have to do it. You got 24 hours to get it in there. And so I'll check it uh, this time tomorrow. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. See you stuck around if you stuck around long enough. So you guys have a good evening. And we will see you again on the next video.